first you want to make sure that your wiper arms are in the completely down or resting position. Once you've done that, just take a mental note of approximately where those wiper blades are sitting on your windshield. If your windshield's dusty like ours, obviously we'll be able to figure out exactly where it was. But anyway, the next thing we're going to want to do is just mark the driver's side. I'm going to use something that's easily um, removable and I'm just going to put a small mark like this. That way there I know this is from my driver's side. After you've done that, take a nice small pocket screwdriver and I'm going to show you where the clip is to remove the arm. So we're just going to press up on this tab like that. At this point, we're going to try to lift up on this. Just be careful because this area right here is spring loaded. So you can get a pinch and if you're wearing gloves, it might even tear your glove. I'm just going to carefully try to lift this. If you wanted to, you can lift up the blade like that. Just be careful not to let it slam down against your windshield. Wiggle this around and draw it right up. Let's do the same to the passenger side. Next, what you need to do is have your hood in the up position. While it's up, use your small pocket screwdriver or whatever you might have for a screwdriver, and you're gonna see some areas that look like they have little clips. Just kinda pull on them, or pry on them. And then this should pop up. And then of course, we'll get it up and away from the windshield. Be very careful for the glass of your windshield, of course. There should be a little push clip that was missing on ours. Yours should have it, so just go ahead and pop that out of there. So you're gonna see that you have the hose for your washer squirters. Just go ahead and take the hose off of there carefully. Obviously, be careful not to break it. Get this out of the way. We'll do the same to the other one. Push on my clip. This should wanna lift up. Disconnect our hose. There we are. Let's get this out of the way. Now we have a nice clear view of our wiper motor here and of course the regulator located right underneath it. We're going to remove them both as a pair and then we'll get the motor off of the regulator. To do that we need our small pocket screwdriver. I usually like to come right underneath this area here and then I can twist and lift or you can just squeeze on this tab right here and of course push it off as well. Whatever works best for you. Take a peek inside, make sure you don't see any funny colors on your electrical connector on both sides, and then we'll move along. So now we need to remove our mounting bolts. You're gonna notice there's one located right here on the driver's side, one in the center, which is also technically on the driver's side of the vehicle, and then all the way over there, closest to the center of the vehicle, there's one located there. Let's remove all three of those. There's one bolt, there it is. Just break this free from where it's located. Awesome. At this point, you want to be super careful because of course your windshield's made of glass and it comes all the way down to this point. So if I was to bonk this up against there, well, boo. With that said, let's go ahead and get this out of here. There it is, friends. Now let's go ahead and get the motor off. Turn it over and we can see the mounting bolts. So we brought our assembly over to the bench so we can work on it. The next thing we need to do is get the center bolt out. If you were to just grab onto this, you should be able to kind of turn the motor a little bit and that'll give you access to it. You can either go one direction or the other. One way is obviously a little bit easier. Let's remove that center bolt. There it is. Looking down in here, you can see that it's pretty much a keyway type unit. It can go one of two ways, so you just kind of want to pay attention to the direction that this is going. I'm just going to wiggle this around. You can see it's starting to break free. If you need to get under it with something like a pry bar, you can try that as well. There we are. Next thing we need to do is remove our three mounting bolts that hold the motor to the assembly itself. Lift this up, remove the motor. So now we just want to make it so our new units matched up with the original one. What I mean by that is if you were to look at the ends right here and right there, you can see those are both facing the same way. If you look at this end, well, not so much. It needs to though. So all you would do is just go ahead and grab onto it, spin it down so it looks like it's in approximately the same angle on both sides. And then of course, we're going to make sure that this is lined up with where it's going to go onto the motor and now we can get the motor attached. Let's bring the motor right underneath here. We're gonna start in all three of our bolts. 
Okay, once all three of them are started, we'll go ahead and snug them up. There we are. Let's take this, put it back over the motor now. Okay. Put this in there. Snug that up as well. Let's get this into the vehicle now. Slide this part down and under here. Just trying to be super careful for any glass. Okay. Now I'm going to line up my bolts where they belong. Right along that. Start in all three of our bolts. The next thing I like to do is connect this in and then I'm going to put the key in the on position, put the wiper blades on and then turn them off and let them go back into the reset position. Now that those are in the reset position, let's take off these covers. Now let's get the cowl on. I'm just going to slide this over here. Got this. Make sure this is reconnected, of course. Okay. So now what we need to do is tilt this like this so it can slide underneath the windshield in the center. There we are. Let's put in our little push clip. Driver's side cowl on. If you look underneath, you're going to see some hooks coming along. That needs to go underneath the windshield area. And of course, we also need to put on our washer fluid hose, so we'll get that on as well. There we go. Slide this over there. You've got your wiper arm area that comes through. Slide this under there. Let's bring this down a little bit and let it rest. Now we've got our wiper arm. This is the driver's side, the one I marked. I have it fully up like this. And if you look in there, you should see a little piton. That's going to match up with the area on the actual assembly itself. So I'm just going to grab this so I can get the tab. Give this a little spin until it wants to line up. And then, of course, it should want to fall onto there. OK, that's on there. Just make sure that your clip can close. That makes sure that it's locked in. If you can't clip it, it's not down far enough. We'll bring this down. It sits exactly where I had it originally. I'm going to do the same to the passenger side. OK, let's give it a test. Perfect. 